Drive and we're travelling down Crookily Way and we're going to approach the Portwood roundabout. So we're following the side to Portwood first, so middle mirror, left mirror, signalling left and I'm going to move on to the slip road. Signal off. I'm moving into the left lane because the right one would be for overtaking or turning right. Middle mirror check, just scanning these um, lights. And middle mirror, right mirror, because here the road merges and so do the lanes. So I'm in a 50 mile an hour speed limit. I'm going to be approaching the Portwood roundabout where I'm going to follow the sign to Marple. So it's a nice dry road surface. I'm going to keep at least two seconds between me and the vehicle in front. So there's the layout of the roundabout on the white sign. And then I'm looking for Marple, a sign to Marple. So middle mirror check, starting to break. The next sign shows me which lane I need, and it says I need the left lane. So middle mirror, left mirror, moving over to the left lane. Middle mirror check, starting to break, and I'm going to bring it to a stop so that I can see the bottom of the tyres and at least a metre of tarmac between me and the vehicle in front. So checking all my mirrors, starting to move forward. As I get onto this roundabout, look at the overhead gantries. Just glancing right as I en enter the roundabout. So the overhead gantries, as well as the road markings, show me what lane I need. So I'm in the left lane, middle mirror, left mirror, signalling left, left or mirror check for cyclists, scanning the pedestrian crossing, and I'm in a new road. So new mirrors, middle mirror, right mirror. So now I've turned around, I'm heading back down St Mary's Way, just checking my mirror and scanning the junction and the pedestrian crossing. Um, so I'm coming away from Marple this time and I'm going to follow the sign to M60 East. So basically going back the way we've just been. So according to the signs I need the right lane, so middle mirror, right mirror, signalling right and moving gently into the right lane. Middle mirror check, starting to brake and coming to a stop so that I can see the bottom of the tyres of the vehicle in front and at least a metre of tarmac. And I'm checking my door mirrors for motorbikes and cyclists and looking around, around the junction for any potential hazards like pedestrians. So I'm following the M60 East. As I approach the roundabout and as I get on the roundabout I'll be watching the road markings and I'll be watching the overhead gantries and they'll be telling me which lane I need. I'm also going to be very careful because there's a lot of motorbikes on the left, coming up on my left. So I'm going to watch out for those. Obviously they're more vulnerable road users. I can also listen out for them as well. All my mirrors, moving forward. So I'm looking for M60 East. Middle mirror check, bringing the car to a stop. Looking around the junction, I can see there's a cyclist. There he goes. I'm checking my door mirrors for more of those motorbikes and other cyclists. I'm looking around for pedestrians. There is a pedestrian on the left. I'm not sure if she's going to cross or not, but I'll keep an eye on her. And I'm looking at the road layout in front of me. There's more pedestrians on the right. So they've stopped, but they might choose to cross. No, nope, they're staying safe there. So all my mirrors. Moving forward, I'm following M60 East. So I need the middle lane. Checking my mirror. Continuing on. Looking at the overhead gantry, it says M60 East in this lane. Checking my mirror, glancing around the junction, making sure it's safe. Again, the overhead gantry says this lane, so middle mirror check, just starting to stop so that I can see the bottom of the tyres and at least a metre of tarmac again. So more door mirror checks for those motorbikes and cyclists, looking around for more pedestrians. Glancing in my middle mirror so I know what's going on behind my car. I'm pulling away and looking around the junction to make sure that it's safe to go. Just staying in my lane, it's unwound me away from the roundabout and then middle mirror, left mirror, signalling left, left door mirror check for cyclists, just scanning that pedestrian crossing 
and I'm pulling into my new road, new mirrors, middle mirror, right mirror. The two lanes merge to one there, so it's really important that I check to see if anyone's on my right before I start to speed up. Just keeping over to the left to give that ambulance room. And I'm increasing my speed because I'm in a 50 mile an hour speed limit and it's a nice dry day, so I can keep at least two seconds between me and the vehicle in front.